and welcome to Raf Limbs. This is Farooq Hussain, and today we are going to start a new series on digital library systems. In this series, we will learn about the installation, configuration, customization, administration, and operations of different digital library systems. So this is an introductory video, and in this video, we will try to clear the concept because. To start something new, it's better to understand the concept first. So the very first thing we need to understand is actually what is a digital library. So Digital Library Federation offered the following definition in 1998, and I have actually break this definition. So according to them, digital libraries are organization. So this is the very first thing you need to understand that digital libraries or organization either they academic libraries either they commercial publisher website either they corporate website or whatever they are the digital libraries are organization so what they organization do they provide the resources and including the specialized stuff so they provide the resources the number one thing and they also provide the specialized stuff for what purpose they provide the specialized stuff to select structure offer intellectual access to interpret distribute preserve the integrity of and ensure the persistent over over time of collections of digital work so that they are readily and economically available for use by a defined community or set of communities. So this is what, according to Digital Library Federation, define the digital libraries. So altogether, this definition said, digital libraries are organizations that provide the resources, including the specialized stuff, to select, structure, offer, intellectual access to, interpret, distribute, preserve the integrity of and ensure the persistence over time of collections of digital work so that they are readily and economically available for use by a defined community or set of communities. So this is actually the digital library. The next thing we need to understand is actually the digital library system. That's actually our real concern. So the digital library system is an online database of digital objects. So here we have two things, online database and the digital objects. So let us understand digital object first. So the digital object consists of digitized content like print or photographs, as well as originally produced digital content like work, word processor file or uh, mp3 format or whatever so here we have two contents actually digitized content and the bond digital content what does it mean by digitized content for example we have a collections of print books we have a collections of print thesis we have a collections of print periodicals and we have a collections of still photographs and we scan them we scan them and we make them digital through the digitization. So, so the uh, whatever the format we select, we select the document, we select the uh, PDF format, we select the uh, uh, EPUB format, we select the uh, JPEG format for photographs, we select the PNG format for photographs or whatever the format they are. So the uh, digi by digitized content we mean we made them digital through the scanning or some other process. So bond digital they actually originally produce as I said they actually originally produce uh, content like word process file like MP3 uh, audio like MP4 video or whatever. So here we have few examples. Uh, in text, we cover the books and also cover the periodicals and we have still images. I mean, still images, we made them and we have uh, 
collections of audios in mp3 format or some other format and the uh, we have collections of videos in mp4 format or some other formats um, and and the collections of games i mean in other digital media formats the digital media format is actually very much important in digital objects we are not talking about the analog format we are talking about the digital media formats so the next thing we need to understand online database by online database we mean a software or software package what does it mean by software or software package so let us understand by an example we have two example we have a caliber ebooks management that's actually a complete software to download install and run there's no other package or prerequisite uh, required to uh, accept the op operating system there's no other uh, thing required to down i mean to to run that particular software so here we have caliber ebooks management that's actually a software it's a complete software to download install and run whereas we need to install the dspace we need to work on prerequisites first we need to install the java we need to install the apache apache maven apache ant we need to install the postgres or oracle we need to install the uh, tomcat uh, or the similar uh, thing so here we have this dspace is actually a software package and the caliber ebooks management is actually a software so this is what i mean to say the next thing we need to understand the software or software package must provide the organizing searching and retrieving the content contained in the collection what does it mean that means the software or software package must follow some standard metadata scheme for example doubling code must provide the basic and advanced search engine must have some strong indexing system must follow protocols for data harvesting like open archives initiative protocols for metadata harvesting it's oai pmh or we all know the z3 9.50 and having strong digital preservation and this is most important actually uh, a digital library system must hampered by copyright law and it varies massively in size and scope of course it has to be a digital library system must massively in size and scope for future needs must be in terabytes and the digital content may, may be stored locally or access remotely by computer network that's mean they can be run on local host they can be run on internet i mean the through the computer network these information retrieval system can exchange information with each other through the interoperability and sustainability so these are actually the digital library system now let us talk about the types of digital library system in general the phrase digital libraries is not well defined in the literature and there is a lack of agreement digital library is also referred to as an electronic library virtual library uh, system library without walls or hybrid libraries so let us see what does it mean by i mean what is the difference between digital electronic and virtual library so in my opinion actually a digital library system is a repository or digital archive of information resources in in a bond digital or digitized format we have already talked about the bond digital and digitized format and is stored as data file on a computer machine or server or cloud and it also provide the tool set to enable search and retrieval of the repository so this is what i understand about the digital library system now let us see the electronic library or e library an electronic library or e library is the same thing but the term is too broad and less precise it might include the analog data format 
or it might refer to the subjects of electronics. For example, the collection of microfilms, collection of microcards, collection of microfiches, audio tapes, video tapes, CDs, DVDs, where each media, each of these media need a specific device or reader to read the content of the media. So I actually prefer the digital library instead of e-library. Where is virtual library? A virtual library is a collection of resources available on one or more computer system where a single interface or entry point to the collection is provided. See, the key point is actually that the user need not known where the particular resource are located. The location is actually virtual. For example, we have HEC Digital Library. If you have seen the HEC Digital Library, what HEC Digital Library do? They do not have any digital objects at their own. They provide the links, I mean the subscribe links to online databases through their website. So this is actually an example of a virtual uh, library. So the digital library also refer to digital archive, either commercial, for example, subscription based online databases for full text or multimedia, including uh, metadata search engines or institutional repositories. Uh, many academic libraries are actively involved nowadays in building institutional repositories of the institution books. Uh, papers, theses, and other works which can be digitized or were born digital. Many of these repositories are made available to, to the journal public with few restrictions as per the goal of open access. Institutional and corporate repositories, those are truly free, are sometimes referred to as digital libraries. Institutional repository software is designed for archiving, organizing, and searching a library content that we have already discussed. Some famous open source solutions include DSpace, ePrints, and Fedora common base system like uh, Island Dora and Semvira. Semvira or Semvira. Anyhow. So we will talk about in the in this series. We will cover most of the open source system, including the DSpace, ePrint, and Fedora common base system like uh, Islandora and the Semvira, and few ebooks management system like uh, Caliber ebooks management and the Greenstone, the very famous. So we will talk about uh, all of them uh, in detail in the next videos. And we will also work on the information searching and retrieval databases. I mean the closed access databases or the open access databases in a new series actually. So thank you very much. You're watching Raflam. This is Farooq Hussain. So please join us so the other people may come to know that there's a channel who is talking about the library and information management technologies. So take care of yourself. Thank you very much.